welcome my beautiful seekers to your august 2nd 2021 daily energy tarot reading now before we get started uh some of you seekers have uh, voiced uh, some concern or confusion over these daily energy readings um, so to clear up that confusion just want to let you guys know that these readings will seek to provide you with what are the energies that you'll be interacting with for this day I believe the world collectively vibrates under a specific kind of energy daily. So this reading will tell you what that energy is and how you can best handle it for your optimal success. All right. Now, before we go any further, I also want to talk about the weekly readings. All right. So there is a new pick a card weekly reading. This covers uh, August 2nd through August 8th. You do have to be a patron in order to access that reading. I am going to include the link in the description below uh, so that you can watch that reading and uh, sign up to my Patreon. So, hope you like that. Let's go ahead and get started with your August 2nd daily energy reading. So we're gonna use the Star Tarot to give us some insight. We're gonna throw three cards and then we are going to throw some oracles as well. So first we shuffle, 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 and here we are. What are the energies for today? Wow, okay. Well, you've got some pretty intense energies. Uh, we've got here justice reversed, temperance reversed, 10 of pentacles upright. So there's going to be concern going around, okay? There's going to be this energy of uh, feeling like the people are being lied to. So there's going to be this energy of misinformation. There's going to be this hate. There's going to be this, um, you're attacking my family kind of philosophy or, or, or mentality. There's going to be this energy of you're betraying me. You're lying to me. Uh, you're telling me things that I essentially uh, don't want to do. Um, you're making me feel bad. And so, you know, in many ways, the energies of August 2nd are going to be very unbalanced very unbalanced uh, people are going to be in somewhat of a negative emotional state around you uh, people are going to feel like they're being attacked like they're being in some ways um you know um there's some malintent okay there there's definitely malintent is what i'm seeing here um and i well, that malintent comes i i think from our justice system so we've got the justice card reversed that can also, that essentially, the Justice Card Reverse can be talking about our justice system, our political system, um, you know, bureaucrats, politicians. So there's definitely, I think, a lot of negativity coming from this source, and people are reacting to that. They're going to react to that in a very negative, kind of nasty way, uh, which is why we've got the temperance reversed. And it also can be talking about, um, you know, the, the information coming out just not being received very well from political figures, political authorities. That's why we've got the justice card reversed. That can be talking about bureaucracy. It can be talking about government. It can be talking about policing. It can be talking about all these things. But, um, you know, there's almost like people are gonna feel attacked and they're gonna feel like their families are being attacked. And so whenever that happens, we, we get this temperance energy reversed, right? Temperance energy is, um, if we have it upright, essentially, it's an understanding that we have to submit and that we have to in some ways be as happy as we can be right now and that happiness is a choice and so temperance is upright would be the the, the that you know significantly that's what it would mean but the fact that it's reversed just tells me that there's muddy waters that there is this um emotional turmoil you know people just aren't able to see the here and now and enjoy the here and now they're living in the future they're living in the past so there's a little depression there's a little sadness there's a lot of anxiety a lot of anxiety going around with this temperance reversed so these are the energies that are going to be prevalent for the collective for this day, August 2nd. So how can you navigate through this energy? How can you navigate through this energy? And the, the, the best answer that I have for that is to not participate, okay? Um, if somebody wants to talk to you about something negative, if they have um, this 
itch, right? Uh, that, that needs a little scratching and they want to just release that kind of negative talk uh, or negative news or can you believe those people? Can you believe that these people are this way? Can you believe that these people are, it, just ignore it. Don't bring that into your space. Don't don't allow that in. Shut it off. It's like, yes, whatever, boom, walk away. Don't invite it in. Don't partake. Um, focus on your family, right? So the Ten of Pentacles is talking about uh, why people are so irate, why people are so furious, and it's because they feel like their family is being attacked. But also, we can view this Ten of Pentacles as a way out, right? Focus on your family, focus on the beauty of just uh, the people around you and the people that really care about you. Focus on family events, you know, family things that bring happiness and joy. You know, what what is it that you do with your family that's most um, joyous and just uh, filled with excitement, just fills you with excitement, right? So these are the things that maybe you can focus on. But these are the energies for the day. So, you know, just be very careful, right? With this Justice card reversed, um, people are going to feel like they are being in some ways, um, you know, misinformed. They're going to feel like there's some malintent from uh, people that should be leading them and helping. And, you know, so, so just be very weary of this energy for this day. Now, we're going to throw some oracles and uh, we're going to try and get uh, a little more information, right, for this day. I feel like maybe, you know, with these oracles, they're going to offer a solution to this energy. So we're going to start with the self-love oracle. Uh, let me show you guys the box. This is a self-love oracle from uh, Janet Choi. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and see what we, what's the advice for the day. To, what's the advice to be able to navigate through this energy more effectively for the collective? <sighs> clarify your desires. Okay, that's interesting. So we've got here, clarify your desire. Be clear about what you want. Do not ask out of lack, but from the deepest joy in your heart, right? So let's go ahead and do a close-up. Be clear about what you want. Do not ask out of lack, but from the deepest joy in your heart. Clarify your desires. Interesting. All right. So, you know, what I see with this card um, is essentially knowing what you want, right? Knowing that um, you want to be happy. You want to feel joyous. You want to feel like there is something to look forward to. You want to feel like the information that you are in essentially interpreting intuitively is correct. You want to follow your internal compass. So focus on that. Make sure that you're not allowing anything in that would essentially compromise that or t uh, tarnish that because it is going to, this energy right here is going to be very prevalent, right? So be very careful with that. So let's go ahead and throw a Magic of the Unicorn Oracle. Uh, this is one of the newer decks by um, Diana Cooper. So we're gonna go ahead and shuffle and we're just gonna throw one card. And let's see what we get. All right, so we've got Law of Grace. Let's take a look at this card. Law, let me see if it comes into focus for us here. There we go. Law of Grace, be your divine essence. Dissolve all in grace, right? So this is beautiful. This is just having an attitude of graciousness, right? Letting things in, you know, knowing why things are going on, understanding that people are unique in their own way. There are certain triggers that trigger them, but you're not going to let it trigger you. You are going to remain stable. You are going to remain in this place of peace and tranquility and understanding. All right. So interesting. Let's go ahead and keep throwing these Oracle cards. I like these. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw a High Priestess Oracle card. The Priestess of Light Oracle. All right, so we're just going to throw one and we're going to see what advice the high priestess has for this glorious day for you, the beautiful seekers. Let's take a look. Harvest. Okay, 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 okay. Focus on your money, focus on your coin. So, harvest, right? Gathering 
of blessings and it's really not even just uh, focusing on the coin um, it's focusing on what you've been working on what you've been wanting right what you've been uh, essentially striving for so we've got here the number 44 as well the number 44 is a master number it's the number of the the master healer so maybe a few of you have been healing from something whether this be physically uh, whether it be mentally whether it be um, emotionally there's a healing that's been going on and it's been going very well for you so really focus on that focus on you focus on your healing focus on your betterment right gathering of blessings harvest whatever that harvest means for you whatever seeds you've been planting it's time to harvest them beautiful beautiful message by the priestess of light now we're gonna try and get a little insight from the angelic realm and for that we're gonna use the Archangel Oracle deck from Diana Cooper so we're just gonna throw one card and we're gonna see what advice we can receive from this beautiful angelic realm speak to us speak to us spirit Oh, all right, you've got Archangel Perlimiak. Look at this. So, Archangel Perlimiak has some advice uh, to help you with this energy. Let nature soothe you. Serve the nature kingdom. Beautiful, 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 right? So, there's nothing more beautiful than nature. I think we can all agree on that. There's nothing more beautiful than looking outside and seeing that beautiful ocean, looking outside and seeing or gazing upon some a beautiful lake or body of water, gazing upon beautiful green trees. Uh, you know, squirrel comes out, takes a little seed, birds come chirping, playing with each other. There is nothing more beautiful than that. And so you are being asked by the archangels, you're being asked by the angelic realm by spirit to focus on the beauty of nature you know I've said it in this channel many times there are healing energies all around us nature offers those healing energies they're for us they're they're there and and we don't even have to just be completely inside of it we don't have to essentially you know be a part of it all we have to do is just observe it just watch that rhythmic balance that rhythmic dance that nature offers you know that leaf that falls from the tree and hits the ground ever so gently and softly there is magic to be had there's magic to be seen there's magic to be received from that so just focus in on that trance like beautiful healing energy of nature and uh, you will be able to reach peace for this day all right so seekers that is what I see here I hope you enjoyed this reading Thank you for watching. I love every single one of you. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this. If some of you are still confused about this, let me know in the comment section. I want to help you seekers. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I find a lot of value to this. I do daily readings for myself. So, you know, this is definitely something that I feel is going to help you if you let it help you. Um, you know, there's always the ego in the mind. It's like, how does this work? This doesn't make any sense, right? Um, and it doesn't have to. Spirit doesn't make sense, right? Spirit is vast. Spirit is powerful. Spirit is the, uh, the unknown, the hidden. So how can it make sense to your human mind? So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you're still confused. Let me know if you um, have any questions. I want to hear from you seekers. Thank you and bye-bye.